Welcome everybody to the Latin Nerds Network. My name is Jose and this is my review for Fall Guys. It's a very early screen that I got to go see. I think it's the second screening. I missed the first one a couple of days ago. It's got a lot of positive buzz. This movie actually comes out in the beginning of May. This is, um, we're in the middle of March here. So it this shows a lot of confidence from the studios being able to screen this movie this early. You know, because, you know, the, it could backfire on you if, if the reviews are not good. But the reviews have been good so far. So I was kind of looking forward to seeing this one. Uh, and I got to say, listen, I and now I understand the faith that the, that the studio had in this, in this movie. Because I get it. It's just a fun, very wildly entertaining film. Very funny. It's kind of an action rom-com, I guess, if you want the best way to describe it. Uh, directed by David Leach, who, of course, is was the perfect guy to direct this film. Because th this movie is like an ode to stuntmen, right, to a certain degree. Uh, you know, st the stunt work is, is very underrated. It doesn't get the attention I think it deserves in, in filming and filmmaking. And David Leach got his started in stunt work, being a stunt man and then a, st a stunt coordinator. And eventually got his big break co-directing the, the first John Wick. Uh, this one here, of course, we have, uh, you know, uh, Ryan Gosling and Emily Blunt. Big fans of both of them. I think Ryan Gosling can do anything. Of course, coming off the success of Barbie, Emily Blunt, you know, she, she's awesome, no doubt about it. And they are great together in this film. Ryan Gosling is, you know, he's a stunt guy. And, you know, he uh, gets hurt doing this particular stunt and is out of the game for about 18 months. He comes back or he's kind of uh, coaxed to come back because, you know, for the, the, his love of his life, who used to be a camera woman, of course, Emily Blunt, is now a director. She's making the first film. So she, he's kind of gets coaxed into you know, coming back into stunt work. And he, he does it because he really wants her back. But, of course, there's a, a, you know, there's a hidden agenda as the producer wants him back because the star... Of the of the film that he's not going to be stunt working is gone missing and she wants him to find him because nobody knows him better than of course his original stunt double who he worked with for years so that's kind of the premise of the film and of course you know it, things as as he, as he digs deeper into the the whereabouts of I guess Aaron Johnson who plays the, the main actor of the film the fake film anyway um, you know he finds out that there's more there than he originally thought and they bargain with and he gets all kinds of trouble and then yada 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 but listen this is if as far as the wrong com part not a big huge wrong com but this is a lot of action infused into this and i'll focus on the comic this movie is a lot it's funny man it knows what it is a lot of funny scenes a great bit with a unicorn which i thought was hilarious uh this is a very cool action scene set you know with to the background of a karaoke karaoke by emily blunt that was was really cool really well made a lot of fun and that overall listen it, it's it, it hits the notes it needs to hit it never takes itself too seriously in terms of the comedy, it worked really well. The chemistry from the part of the rom-com part of it with uh, M.A. Blunt and Gosling worked really well. The action is really cool, very well shot. And David Leitch, is, he does action very well. I think his last movie, Bullet Train, was really good. Atomic Blonde, not great films, but the fun, entertaining, but has some really good action. And this one here, it gives us a lot of, really gives you a good sense of what actual stunt work is, right? And, and you know, at the end of the film, at the credits, they're just showing all the, the, the stunts that there were in the film. So I thought it was really great. Fantastic cameo in the end, which I absolutely loved. And, and I'll, I'll leave it at that, not to spoil anything. But it, listen, it's a good time. It's just so entertaining. And Ryan Gosling just, he, he carries this film. He's so much fun to watch. And, and, and I've always enjoyed him. He's not, he's get, really getting his due. And, and my only really complaint is that it's about two hours. It probably went maybe 10 minutes too long. Fair enough. The third act dragged a little bit uh, in terms of it was almost too much but nonetheless it's a minor complaints other than that i was smiling ear to ear laughing the whole time listen this movie is not going to change your life it's not going to win you know be around for award season obviously but i think right now it's one of my favorite movies of the year and i know it has been a great year and it's still early but you know it's definitely one that i think is really going to surprise a lot of audiences and i'm highly recommending this film it's just a good time it's just so much fun and wildly entertaining Absolutely, you know, and it gets silly at times, and you know, I guess a little bit over long, but overall, a good experience. Highly recommend you guys go check it out when it comes out in May. If you, when you guys eventually comes out and do see it, comment below, let me know where you guys thought. And of course, if you haven't done so already, subscribe below and feed money to go to the movies and talk about it afterwards. See you guys next time.